Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's September 15, 2020. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A Michigan priest is under fire for condemning left-wing terrorism. Yesterday, Father Bob McCabe, pastor of Church of the Divine Child in Dearborn, apologized to parishioners for sermon given by Father Paul Graney. The sermon exposed the anti-Catholic agenda of Black Lives Matter and Antifa. Well, it's this idea of this stateless, classless society of, of communism. But today, those who we see wanting to bring down America are Americans, and they want to do it with the, under the facade of justice, freedom, and love. But it is all a big bunch of baloney. It's anti-Christian, it's anti-family, it's evil. Father Graney's sermon has been removed from the church's social media accounts. Over in Rome, the Vatican is urging the world's Catholics to return to Mass. Saturday morning, Liturgy Chief Cardinal Robert Seurat wrote a letter to Catholics encouraging them to come back to church after the lockdowns, saying that watching it on TV can never be a replacement for Mass. Quote, We cannot live as Christians without the banquet of the Eucharist, the risen Christ himself, present in body, blood, soul, and divinity in that bread of heaven. Also in Rome, Catholics are outraged at the Vatican for painting Jesus black. Over the weekend, the Pontifical Academy for Life tweeted out a doctored image of Michelangelo's famed Pietà, changing his skin color. Critics compare this vandalism to the act of Marxist activist Laszlo Toth in 1972, who attacked the Pietà with a sledgehammer. A Catholic whistleblower is denouncing Joe Biden. Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano said in an interview yesterday, that the Catholic Democrats' support of abortion puts him at odds with the Catholic faith, and he believes he'll lose the election. Vigano also called the U.S. bishops to account for failing to condemn him. Quote, the bishops and the leaders of the church will answer to God for betraying their duty as pastors. In other news, Black Lives Matter is being denounced for chanting for two policemen's death. Over the weekend, protesters blocked the entrance to a California hospital where they were trying to admit two LA deputies shot in an unprovoked attack. BLM demonstrators holding pan-African flags gathered at a Linwood medical facility expressing hopes for the officer's death. Activists were heard yelling, we hope they die. Muslims are slaughtering Ethiopian Christians. A September 9th report reveals 500 Christians killed around the East African nation's capital since June. The terrorists responsible are mostly young males driving door-to-door, -door, shooting and hacking up the faithful with machetes. Victims include pregnant women, children, and sometimes entire families. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today. Michael talks about useless petitions and how to actually get things done. God bless you.